What is good? Good morning. Daily Xander number 76 coming at you right about, I had to guess, 8, 10 or so in the morning just heading to the gym with little time to spare, but I'm going to make it happen. Even if it's a 10 or 15 minute quick workout, I'm going to get it in and make it all come to fruition and make it a valuable session. Feeling good. Uh, I'm going to walk, just be listening to an uh, audio book and wrote an email back to another Steiner recruiter. I said I'm kind of right now just trying to lay out as many potential interviews as possible. Um, so I'm trying to get an interview while I'm similar time me when I'm in Iceland to also go to England. So we'll see if that happens. Quick thing I just want to say since it is the morning and it's daily xander i started daily xander number 96 let's just say morning positive chant or shout let's go champ let's go more updates to follow good afternoon back to the daily xander number 96 coming at you in sunny longwood florida is about 12 20 in the afternoon and right now i'm doing actually a pretty rare instance since it's not extremely busy at the moment also i have a solid hour schedule of my schedule for lunch break that i'm literally just outside walking around soaking up some sun and uh nothing drastically pressing that i need to do at the moment Although I do need to get my electrical um, utility account figured out. As for a reason, I can't log on online and reset my password. I, was, I spent about an hour trying to figure that out yesterday and couldn't, but uh, all is good there. Eventually get it figured out. I uh, sent an email to a uh, post that I saw um, regarding a uh, fitness company. I don't know how long they've been around, but they operate somewhere in Orlando. They're looking for a, a brand ambassador or a, I guess a model, a personality or a model for their their brand. And that was like on January 6th. So I don't know as far as the post went up and I just sent an email today uh, answering the questions and some pictures and stuff like that. So we'll see if I get a response. If not, I'm, I'm just looking for uh, opportunities out there. Good solid workout this morning. Uh, I don't even know what I'd really call it. I mean, it's a mixture of doing my TOT training and testosterone optimization training, kind of lifting heavy, somewhat. And uh, it's uh, heavy to me, I should say, at least. And they're dumbbells. Heavy dumbbells, different, uh, different lifts, but all lifts incorporate the complete body. Uh, so essentially I did four different exercises and I made a circuit out of it. So I'll be lifting heavy weight, uh, no more than six reps max, generally on one side at a time, one side being unilateral. So if I was doing like a, a clean, dumbbell clean press with one arm and then flip it to the other side. So yeah, it was a good sweaty workout. Again, you don't need much time as long as you know what you're going to do before going to the gym. Maybe even have a little backup plan or just improvise on the spot. Hello. No, no, you're fine. Sorry. <laughs> Almost got hit there by the car right there. Um, yeah. All you need is really like 20 minutes of uh, planned workout, hard work put in, a little rest time, and uh, you can definitely get it in. Everybody knows that, of course. It's just a, a matter of drawing up a plan. There's certain things you do need plans for and other things you can get away with not having a plan but uh, definitely I would say when it comes to fitness or working out it, it definitely helps when you have a direction to go with or even goals for that matter my goal right now I don't have a number in mind but I would probably say just to uh, maintain put a little muscle on but primarily just to lean out I would say and I'm mainly going to do that from working out staying consistent 
schedule that way and then also uh, clean up the diet a little bit. My diet the past couple days has actually been really clean. And I'm going to try and do a combination of clean up the diet while uh, spend less money kind of thing. So that's, that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, so yeah. Right now, right now I'm actually walking in this uh, giant condominium community, like right next to the the work complex I, I work at, and uh, it's pretty quiet for the most part, other than that little bit where I actually got almost, uh, <laughs> I really didn't almost get hit, but uh, the golf cart snuck up on me. Uh, so yeah, just soaking up the sun, maintaining the blonde, hair's being funky at the moment, but it's all good. The scruff is still getting longer, aka the blonde beard, the Viking beard, the Zandalicious beard, the Scottish reddish at times tint of a beard. And I'm just spitting, spitting whatever comes to my mind. So, with that said, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my walk, listen to an audiobook, and uh, wait to get back to work. And then tonight, just looking for opportunities again, staying productive. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got going on, so let's keep it going. Also, side note, <laughs> this came to mind. I was watching last night uh, the Daily V, so Gary Vanderchuk's uh, daily vlog, professionally filmed. He has he hires his own crew. He usually has a team of two cameramen that follow him around wherever he goes, and they edit it also. He might even have, I'm pretty sure he has his own editing team, too, that does it. But I guess he was actually in Orlando... Just over a month ago. No, no, no. What am I talking about? Earlier in the month, he was in Orlando uh, as a keynote speaker. There's a lot of keynote engagements, so that's why he's always flying all over the world speaking. Um, so I don't know if that was actually something I could have gone to because it was more of a, an investor conference. But it still would have been cool to uh, have the chance to uh, speak to him. But that guy is extremely busy. If ever get a chance to speak to him one on one, it's usually like just several minutes, or at times, from what I've seen, people will just talk to him while he's walking somewhere or tra- uh, traveling somewhere. So, busy dude. All right. This has been the Afternoon Daily Xander 96. Stay tuned for more. Quick update just got off the phone with customer service, Duke Energy, got it all squared away. Apparently, my answer for my favorite or my first pet. For whatever reason, I put Jasmine when it's actually Tosh is the first pet I ever had, which is Dalmatian. Um, Jasmine was the second uh, pet or dog that I had. Anyways, I also put the, the name Jasmine into the security question. It wouldn't be recognized because talking to a customer service, Miss Linda, uh, there's actually a space after I get done spelling the word Jasmine. So that's the, that was the problem there. So I actually just reset my password and good to go. So uh, check that off the list as uh, getting that figured out and being on top of. So more to follow. Good evening. Back to the Daily Xander number 96 coming at you. That's right. The one and the only place, Starbucks in Altamont Springs. If you ever want to find me, you can look here. <laughs> but it's about 10 o'clock at night and uh, just been kind of plugging away the past couple hours at some stuff. And also made a good portion of food uh, that I've been eating. So staying productive there. And yeah, not much I can say. Uh, just doing uh, just doing the do. Thinking of, uh, I'm always, when I'm doing stuff, um, especially if, I, like, for example, I'm doing notes or uh, just writing workouts and stuff, sometimes occasionally my mind will drift off. And I'll be thinking about other things, kind of like, oh, what, what's some things I want to accomplish or uh, aim for? And uh, definitely, I think, for me, I'm going to start uh, coming up with or implementing, and I guess I could make this even more of a ritual, uh, goals that would be that would seem unattainable and uh, aim, something to aim extremely, really high. So the first one I'm going to put out there and this is, would be more of a personal goal rather than any type of business goal or another category. I'm going I'm to say to hook up with 
<coughs> a, I'll, I'll say Miss America or another Miss of another country. Um, so yeah, I'm going with the uh, I'm going with the pageant uh, crown um, gal for uh, uh, for Eamon High. Um, we'll see if that comes to fruition. Time will tell. Um, of course, I literally could, you could look at it and go uh, at it very strategically. First thing I'd have to do is kind of look into what are events that I'd most likely be able to bump into somebody at that uh, that stature. But um, that was just something that I came to mind today for whatever reason. Um, I think what actually kind of sparked that thought was uh, I watched uh, one of daily uh, daily V. So let me back up. One of Gary. Vaynerchuk's Daily V's, and he was actually having a business meeting with uh, one of the previous Miss Americas, and he, he, he even said on camera, like, literally two years ago kind of thing, I was judging this gal, and now I'm doing business with her, and I, I, for whatever whatever kind of reason, it just made me think, like, yeah, all right, that, that's a goal I want to aim for. Let's, uh, let's aim for uh, hooking up with Miss America, or another Miss of another country, like I said. On that note, I'm going to conclude my Daily Xander number 96. Hope you enjoyed. Peace, love, unity, and respect. I'll keep doing it all again tomorrow. And growing, evolving, laughing, joking, clowning around, being a kid. Never take myself too seriously, but at the same time, put solid work in. Put hustle in, even though at times you got to be patient with it. So, all good. I'm growing, I'm learning, I'm doing me. Catch you in the next installment. This has been the Daily Xander number 96 over and...